Hi, Algebra 2. This is the last lesson in Unit 3. So it's Unit 3, Lesson 9. And today we're going to solve a system of linear equations. So yesterday we solved a 2 by 2 system of linear equations, and you did that back in Algebra two years ago. Basically, there are two equations with two unknowns. In this lesson, we're going to have three equations and three unknowns. All right? And this, uh, looking at the first one right here, I'm not sure why I called it exercise two, but consider the three by three system of linear equations shown below. Each equation is numbered in the first exercise to help you keep track of what we're doing. So basically, I cannot solve for three variables. I can't solve for two variables. So I'm going to take two of these equations and add them together and get one of the variables to drop out. So I'll just be left with two. And then I'm going to do the same thing with two different equations, add them together and get the same variable to drop out so that I'm just left with two variables just like I had yesterday. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one and two. Okay, so I have these numbers. So I'm going to take equation one, two x plus y plus z equals 15. And I'm going to take equation 2, which is 6x minus 3y minus z equals 35. Now look at those z's. Those z's can very easily drop out if I was to add these equations together. So I'm going to add them together, and I'm going to get 8x minus 2y, the z's cancel out, equal 50. Now I'm going to do the same thing with equation 1 and equation 3. So equation 1, again, is 2x plus y plus z equals 15. And equation 3 is negative 4x plus 4y minus z equals negative 14. Again, looking at those z's, the z's have the same coefficient. So if I add these, they will drop out. So I'm going to add them together. 2x minus 4x is negative 2x. 4 plus 4y is 5y. The z's cancel out, and 15 plus negative 14 is 1. Now I'm going to use these two equations and get the x or the y to drop out. So basically, I'm now back. After doing all that, I'm back where I was um, looking at equations yesterday, where I just had two variables. So I took the two equations and got one of the variables to drop out. I took a two different equations and got the same variable to drop out. And now I'm down to just two equations, two variables. So now, remember, I need them to have the same um, coefficient in front. So I think the easiest thing to do, if you're looking at these x's right here, this is an 8x and a negative, negative 2x, but if I was to multiply this equation by 4, I would have a negative x, which would be negative 8x also, which would be perfect. So the top is staying the same, 8x minus 2y equals 50. The bottom, I'm multiplying the whole bottom by 4, so that gives me negative 8x plus 20y equals 4. Okay, because remember, I'm trying to get this down to 1 uh, variable. When I do that, the x's cancel out. I'm adding these two equations together. Negative 2y plus 20y is 18y. 50 plus 4 is 54. Divide by 18. y equals 3. All right, so I solve for one of them. Now I'm going to go back to the equations that I have here and here. And now that I know what y is, I'm going to solve for x. So I can take either one. It doesn't really matter which one I take. 8x minus 2y equals 50. I know that x is 3, so I'm substituting in 3. 8x minus 6 equals 50. There's a lot of places you can make a mistake. You know, it's a long involved problem. 8x equals 56. x equals 7. Perfect, I now have two of the three. And then I go back to one of the original equations and solve for z. Doesn't matter which one. 2x plus y plus z equals 15. Now I know x is 7, I know y is 3, and z is the thing I'm trying to solve for. Then I will have gotten all of them. So 2 times 7 is 14. 14 plus 3 is 17. 
on solving for z, so I'll subtract 17, and z equals negative 2. Okay, so again, what did I do? I had three equations, three variables. I added two of them together to get one of the variables to drop out. Since those z's were all similar in coefficients, I decided to add 1 and 2, and I got the z's to drop out. Then I added 1 and 3, and I got the z's to drop out. So I was left with those two equations that just had x's and y's. And then I got the x's to drop out by making those coefficients the same. I solve for y. Once you solve for one of the variables, then you can just go back in and solve for the second one, and then go back into one of the original equations and solve for the third one. All right, the next, we're gonna do one problem. I know that was long, and we're gonna practice one of them tomorrow. If this is a part two problem, you have to do this whole thing out, but occasionally I have seen this asked as a multiple choice question. So I'm gonna show you how to do it as a multiple choice question. This is written on your paper. Let me just change this color. I'm gonna get some purple right here. So the next one, I'm not gonna even solve. Um, I'm gonna do it all in my calculator, all right? So I'm taking this right here, and I'm doing exactly what it says to do in my calculator. Basically, I'm going to do a matrix, a three by four matrix. And what I'm doing, just so you know, I'm putting in the coefficients that are in front of all, the x, the y, the z, and then also that last number at the end. So again, I'm putting in the x, the y, the z. You do have to make sure when you're doing this that everything is going in in the same order, like x is first, y is second, and z is third for every single one. And again, I'm putting in these coefficients right here are gonna go into my matrix. matrix. So the whole directions are there. This was another one that was not working in this, um, what was it, Calculate 84 app. It was not working, the matrices. So if you do this graph and calc that I have over on the bottom right, right there, graph and calc 83. So the way that you do it is you hit second, matrix, which is right here. All right, you're gonna go over to edit and you're gonna make sure that it says three by four. So mine is already set up that way. All right, so second matrix, you go to edit. So you're gonna have to scroll over two to the right if you have a regular graphing calculator. And you're gonna go to A and hit enter. And then you're gonna type in three by four, okay? Now, I should probably clear this so I can do it with you guys. All right. Um, let me see how I clear the whole thing. Second, mem, uh, clear all lists. Let me see if that clears it. Calculator error, second, mem, reset. Let me reset the whole thing. Okay, so second, matrix, I'm gonna have to put this in again. A, so I'm doing um, three by four, so that's gonna be three, uh, oops three by four, okay, and my three disappeared for some reason. It's a little bit different on this, or maybe I have to hit enter, by four, there we go. All right, so now I'm putting in all those coefficients that I highlighted, so four goes in, uh, one goes in for the y, and negative three goes in for the z, and then you can't see it, but in the fourth column I'm putting negative six. And now the second row, I'm doing that second equation, negative 2, 4, 2, 38. And then I'm doing the third equation, 5, negative 1, negative 7. I'm putting in the coefficients that were in front of the x, the y, and the z, and negative 19. Okay. And then you're going to hit um, second mode that sort of quits and get us, gets us out of there. And we're going to hit second matrix again. All right. And this time I'm going to go over to math and you want to scroll down to where the B is. See this B that says R R E F R R E F. Okay. And I'm going to hit enter. Oops. Uh, now in your calculator, if you just hit enter, then you should be able to do that matrix that we had. So second matrix. Whoops. I'm going to put this one in. I want to get that matrix I had, that three by four. So I did second matrix math, and I went down to letter B that said R, R, E, F, and then I enter in that matrix that was already inputted, and then I hit enter, and these are my answers. 
So x is negative 5. y, which was that second position, you know, the, the second thing we put in was 8, and z is negative 2. If I was to do that by hand, that would be my answer. So x is negative 5, y is 8, and z is negative 2. So if it's a multiple choice question, you can just use your calculator. You would not have to do 